The next command we're going to look at is called Magic Extractor. This is for removing a certain object from an image to either place on its own background or into another image. I'm going to try and extract this butterfly. I could try this using a layer mask or quick selection tool, but getting all the pieces of this guy would be tough and certainly tedious. Using the magic extractor will take some of the detailed work out of it. So I'll choose the magic extractor from the image menu, and a new window is open that I'm going to resize to fit our video. In here I basically can do two things. Paint with the foreground brush tool on areas that I want to extract, and then paint over areas I don't want to extract with the background brush. There's also an eraser tool here to make corrections, and your standard zoom and hand tools. So I'll begin painting on the butterfly with the foreground brush, which will paint red. If I wanted, I could adjust the color of this brush in the upper right of the window. The instructions at the top of the window say to just click a few times on the area you want to extract. I've found that it definitely works better if you use more painting strokes than just clicks. And in the detailed areas, such as the legs or antenna, you need to select a very small brush and go over them or they won't get extracted. Once I have the selection for the butterfly ready, I'll switch to the background brush and paint in the leaf and green areas. Click OK and Elements examines what areas I've labeled to extract and what areas to not extract. It does a pretty good job of pulling the butterfly out. Now I can move this into another image. To do that, I'll command click on the layer in the Layers palette to get a selection around the butterfly. Copy it and then paste it into this image. I'm going to put this new butterfly on a flower in the background. So I will use transform to shrink it and rotate it to sit on this flower. I'll also need to blur it to match the flower it's on. So I will do a Gaussian blur and set it to about 4 pixels. That looks pretty good, but the legs and antenna have an odd amount of green in them. So I'm going to use the sponge tool to remove that color. So that makes the legs and antenna look more natural. The only other step I might want to take is to maybe thin the antenna down with the eraser or a layer mask. 
but for now I'll stick with this.